better health for everybody, every day. Transforming lives, three minutes at a time. Listen up. This is your daily health tip from The Good Company. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to today's health tip. It's Melissa from The Good Company. Hope everybody is staying well. I'm back to talking about molds and mycotoxins. Um, Down the line, we're going to talk about parasites and heavy metals. The things that are keeping our bodies weighed down, it's like how I describe it, right? That bottom layer of sludge that we all have, those toxins that we can't move out. What are they and how do we get them out? That's the focus of the next couple weeks here. That's what I'm working with. I'm currently working with a great company called Cellcore Biosciences. I'll leave a link in the show notes. They have all kinds of protocols for moving and moving around these mycotoxins and getting them out of your body. Um, I want to talk today about a couple of uh, mycotoxins that are particularly poisonous and how they get into the body. The first is aflatoxin, and that produces um, uh, molds like aspergillus, and those are grown in soil, decaying vegetation, hay, and grains. So crops that are frequently affected by aspergillus include cereals, seed oils, which we've talked about how deadly seed oils are for our body, peanut, sunflower, soy, uh, soybean, cottonseed oil, all terrible for us, um, and even some spices, right? So if you have spices that have been sitting in your spice store for years, it's time to replace those. Um, Aflatoxin can also be found in the milk of animals that are fed contaminated feed. And to note that large doses of this toxin can lead to acute poisoning and be very life-threatening, usually damaging the liver, which is why the protocol from Cellcore Biosciences um, contains liver supportive herbs um, and tutka, right? We'll talk about that later. Tutka is a supplement that really supports the liver. Another mold to watch out for is ochratoxin um, that produces both aspergillus and penicillin and commonly found in coffee, which is why it's really important to make sure that your coffee beans um, are coming from a good source. I started switching over to bulletproof coffee. They are guaranteed that their coffee is moldless. Also, Keon is another great brand of coffee that is tested for molds. Um, but again, cereal, cereal products, wine can contain ochratoxin, um, and we talked about the spices. So you want to be really careful um, about that. Ochratoxin affects the kidneys, right? We know that kidney damage comes from ochratoxin, which is again why there's a kidney liver support product in the cell core biosciences regimen for removing mold. So that's what we need to watch out for. If you think about how grain is stored, right? If you look at a farm and you see those silos filled with corn, for instance, they harvest the corn and there it sits until it's ready to be taken to the factory to be ground. It's getting moldy, right? And that's going right into our bodies. So if you have suspicions of mold, and we're going to talk about that next time, right? How do I, how, how, why would I suspect mold in my body? But if you do, or if you've had a test for mold, and you, again, you can go over onto my Instagram story, and this highlights, it is saved as mold and mycotoxins. I talk about the test that I took. I'll show you all of the cell core bio uh, sciences products that I'm using over there. And that's at Melissa Hall Klopaki. I'll leave a link again in show notes for that. Um, but we're going to talk about how to get them out once they're in. Um, and um, we're just going to keep talking about this stuff, right? Because it's the stuff that no one talks about. The toxins that are in there that are not letting our bodies heal, not letting our bodies perform optimally. Um, we need to get them out because they're certainly getting in. So that's that today on mycotoxins. Um, think about the grains you're eating. Think about the coffee you're drinking. Think about the sources. Um, avoiding mold at all costs. It should be your goal from foods and also from your environment. And we'll talk about that as well. Have a good day. Stay well. And I'll talk to you next time.